All right, so here we are reviewing not the second part of the book, Toxic Parents, but just I read up to chapter two or three, and then I read a lot more today or listened on the audio book. I have the physical copy. It's actually propping up the phone. Uh, but I really wish I could do a review of, well, on page 72 it says, and this is interesting because blah, blah, blah. And again, I read this book 15 years ago almost. Uh, I listened to the audiobook a couple years ago, maybe once or twice, and now this is my umpteenth time of listening to this. And at first it was nice to, to read it. It was like, yeah, all right, fine. You know, they, I don't have to put up with this. I'm not crazy. You know, these people acted, my parents acted in a way that wasn't very good to me. So it was, again, validating or whatever you want to call it. But now it's like, yeah, okay, fine, hear it, okay. It's just kind of passive listening. It's like any kind of podcast that you put on because, you know, it's better than listening to nothing, I guess. It's just like, yeah, okay, fine. Because, as we discussed yesterday, it's the same thing of, okay, Barbara, or I don't even know, it doesn't matter. It's Barbara had bad childhood stuff, and the author goes through a different kind of abuse. So there's, uh, well, I think I left, I, I'm in the middle of chapter six, which is physical abusers, then it was verbal abusers, then it was controllers, or, okay, all sorts of different kinds of, of toxicity, right? Fine. But it's always childhood abuse. And this is why you're fat and, you know, you're not getting ahead in your career. This is why you're depressed. This is why, you know, uh, you're, you're, what do you call it? Your, uh, your husband divorced you as you're kind of reliving these sort of dynamics, right? Um, so the al- they go into alcoholics as well. So, you know, let's say your father was an alcoholic and then you m- marry an alcoholic unwittingly or not, but it's just that comforting pattern or something. Okay, fine. That could be true. But again, it's, it's that, okay, but you couldn't talk to anyone about it then, right? If you had, let's say, alcoholic parents, it's that you couldn't talk to anyone else about it then. Or there was one example of some crazy mother. And there was like one neighbor who tried to intervene and even called like child protective services or something. They didn't do anything, you know, or that sort of stuff. It's like, it's not the abusive parent. It's that there's nothing else, right? That's the issue. So it kind of obscures that, that, oh, childhood abuse. And then, oh, well, you're depressed and, you know, you're, you're stuck at a job you don't like or something. And it's because you put up with a boss that's very much like your father, whatever. That sort of connection. And it can be true. Okay, fine. But it's not quite that. At least for me. That in the same way that you had to tolerate that abuse then, you couldn't talk to anyone then. Can't really talk about it now. It's not the workplace or whatever. It's, it's not, you know. So anyways, that's... That's kind of it. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to make it 10 minutes today on repeating the same thing, but that's kind of it. You know, that's, that's sort of it. Because again, even with the book itself, okay, it's a good book, decent book, good enough. Where do you go to talk about it? Where do you go to say, hey, so did you have parents that were ever shitty like this? You know, or the letter, right? I wrote the letter, the letter, non-letter. Well, where do you go to say, hey, this is me. This was my concern about the bullshit that I had as a child. What about you? Where's that? Right. No. That's not the only thing, right? But that's like one one little pretty important thing. Well, here we go. So it's not the, oh, abuse and oh, well, I'm fat and I have some issues at work. Or, no, no, no. It's a lot more. It's, it's the bird's eye view of it is, oh, I can't talk to anyone about it then. I can't talk about it now. Right. So anyways, I think that's it. I don't want to belabor the point. There's a couple more chapters. Again, I wish I could do the book because the book is using, I'm using it to prop up the phone because I forgot the, I forgot the uh, stand again, the um, tripod or anything else. So it doesn't matter. There's a couple more chapters on specific kind of abusers. I think next is like sexual abusers and maybe one more. I don't know. And then it's like, well, what do you do now? And that's interesting because I wrote the letter that I mentioned before, the letter, non-letter, um, I don't know, a couple of videos ago. I wrote that because of this book, all right? Because there's a suggestion in there to write a letter, even if you never send it, blah, 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 just to sort of get it out, right? 
We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. Those are the chapters I would probably want to more focus attention to. And I'll probably do that tomorrow or the next time. Uh, there's only like two or th well, I don't know. Maybe we can make two more of this because I was never sexually abused. There was no sexual abuse, right? But there are some very interesting things in there that even with the most extreme abuse, people still like go back to their abusers or, well, we'll get to it. It's, it's, it's an interesting dynamic that even Susan does not pick up on the author of this. But anyways, so we might just do that tomorrow. We can stretch this out. You know, it's been 15 years. So whether it's one more video or two more or a hundred more, I guess, you know, but that's it. So that's, that's kind of it.